It's time for Andy's cooking show. Hello and welcome to Cooking with Andy. This is the first episode of a cooking show made specifically for you, Debshi. So we are going to start the first episode with a very easy and straightforward recipe. As you know, I'm a I'm soon to be a doctor, I'm a grad student still. So we are going to cook something very utilitarian, a chicken soup. So on one hand we will be able to eat the chicken and then eat the soup. So we have two dishes investing half the time. So let's get started. We need very few ingredients for this. Just two potatoes, half an onion, some garlic. Some people say it gives a strong taste, that's optional. This is soup pasta, so this will give some substance to the, to the, to the broth. Two pieces of chicken and also some concentrated chicken flavor to give a little bit more of a punch. So first we need to take care of the potatoes. So I rinse them with water and then we have to peel them. So when I was in Spain, I used to peel them with a small knife, but that takes quite a while. So now I use a peeler, which is a time saver. So you just take your potato, start grabbing like this, and it gets peeled. So I'm going to do this for the whole potato, and then I will be back to you. So we got both potatoes peeled. And now we're going to cut them in two or three pieces to help them, you know, disintegrate with the when we are cooking them. And for that, in in, chick, in the chicken when cooking, size matters. So we are going to use one of these big knives so that we can cut it much faster. Next, we are going to peel the onion and then get half and chop it into small pieces. So as you know, onions can make you cry when you when you peel them. That's because they have substances to defend themselves against predators, against animals. So just be aware and and don't start crying, okay? So we are going to try to do that, but I cannot cut anything. Just joking, I'm a very bad actor. So let me peel this and this mm, onion and then we continue. Okay, so I have uh, I have half my onion here and I'm going to use my big knife to cut it into medium-sized pieces. You don't want to start eating the soup and feel a big piece of onion. So I'm just going to do that. And of course, when you are dealing with onions, just try not to touch anything else. Don't touch your eyes, don't touch the skin, and don't touch the camera if you are making a video, but I couldn't avoid that. And after you are done, just, they can be this size. So after you are done, just rinse your hands and the rest should be more straightforward. Considering all this is already quite straightforward. Next comes the garlic. We are going to get um, around two or three pieces and then while we they still have the peel on, we're going to press them against the against the plate here, against the floor. And after that we are going to peel it and add it to the rest of the vegetables. So garlic is extremely popular in Spain. We cook most of the stuff with garlic and all the spicy stuff is based on garlic, which is less, way less spicy than, than chili or Indian based spicy. That's why when I came to the US, for instance, it was really hard for me to get spicy food because it was extremely, extremely spicy. So after we have finished peeling the, the garlic, you can see it here. We just want to cut like the, the bottom and the, the top of the garlic, so we don't need to eat that. That's very straightforward, just two cuts. And then you can, I normally add just each garlic as a single piece, but you can split it maybe in half if you so desire. But I don't think it makes any difference, to be honest. Okay, so I think that was the last thing we had to prepare. Now we just need to mix all the ingredients and start cooking. So we have a pot here with some water. We are then going to add the, the potato and the garlic and onions here, like that, very straightforward, and also the chicken pieces. And you just want this to cover the whole broth. So you maybe you want to add some water later on. Because this is going to boil, you don't want this to fill completely. And after this starts boiling and, you know, the flavor starts expanding to the broth, then we'll add extra things. 
but for now let's get this party started so this is now getting started you can see the fumes of the water boiling a little bit and the process takes around 30 minutes so we are going to check this again in around 20 minutes and we will add salt, oil, pepper and a few extra things so this is now starting to look a little bit different the chicken starts to be cooked the water you know, starts being more having more substance so we are going to add a little bit of pepper we are going to add the soup pasta I mentioned before so this should be quite a lot and then we need to add a little bit of flavor so we can use this chicken concentrate so this, this is quite a lot so we are going to do just half of it we can always add more if it doesn't taste enough ok I'm going to mix a little bit and the only thing missing is a little bit of oil and I could go on and on about oil because it's something very important in Spain I am an oil addict mm, we use a lot of different oils this is olive oil just a little bit, you don't want too much and then we are going to keep boiling this until it's ready for giving it a taste ok Debshi, so it's time to give it a try let's see it's a bit hot but nothing I cannot handle so let's give it a try mmm delicious good so we have moved the soup to another container here and now the last and optional step is to cook a little, a little bit more the, um, the chicken we just boil this one but if we want to add a little bit more flavor and texture we can just stir fry it a little bit in a, in a pan or in the same pot we used before so we are going to do that and going to add this to the pot and in a few minutes we will be ready so as you can see here we just want to add a little bit of you know this brownish texture so that it, the flavor becomes a little bit more intense but just a little bit, we don't want to, to burn it or anything and I think we are done so this is it uh, we have soup for quite a few days I will take a little bit to the lab tomorrow because now it's night and dal in Dallas and we have chicken for a couple of days as well I have some rice in the uh, mm, some already cooked rice in the fridge which I will mix with the chicken and that's pretty much it so that's all and this is a show for a single person you Debshi so thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy watching me cooking as much as I enjoy watching you so see you in the next chapter which will most likely be a Spanish tortilla so I will introduce you to the food of our people thank you it's time for Andy's cooking show